Hello, Ruby, and welcome to this online discussion with Malaki. Today, we shall be looking at the Faraday's laws, law of electromagnetism, and we shall be using it to evaluate or uh, drive the, an expression for the peak EMF for a rotating coil producing electrical energy as a result of changing magnetic field lines. Faraday's law of electromagnetism states that the induced EMF in a circuit is proportional to the number of turns of coils in the circuit and also proportional to the rate of change of magnetic field lines linking the coil. So we shall be making use of this uh, statement to uh, evaluate the peak EMF for a rotating coil producing electrical energy as a result of changing magnetic field lines. Don't touch the dial. Follow us on our social media platforms. We're on Facebook, we're on TikTok, Instagram, and on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube for amazing videos on mathematics and sciences. All right, let's get started. From Faraday's law, we know that induced EMF equals minus N the phi B upon the T. This is usually regarded as the magnetic flux. This is the magnetic flux. Magnetic uh, flux. And this is the number of tons of coil. Number of tons of coil. And this is time. So the induced EMF, this is the induced EMF. Induced uh, EMF. Induced EMF is proportional to the number of turns of the coil and also proportional to the rate of change of the magnetic flux linking the coil. It means that when the number of turns increases, the induced EMF increases. And also when the rate of change of the magnetic flux increases, the induced EMF also what? Increases. So when there is changing magnetic field, EMF what? Is induced in a circuit. So we shall be employing this to derive the peak EMF for a rotating coil producing electrical energy as a result of changing magnetic field lines. So this uh, phi magnetic flux for a uniform field is given as B A what cos theta B A cos theta, and this theta is um the theta can be gotten from the angular frequency which is defined as angle turn through divided by the time elapsed so that theta will be what uh, omega t so if we replace theta with this we have b a cos omega t so if we now differentiate theta which is the magnetic flux with respect to time we have so this is function of function differentiation. So if you have not watched our video on uh, differentiation, you can check our playlist and what watch them. So if we differentiate this with function of function, uh, by function of function differentiation, we have that uh, this is minus B A omega sine W T. So having this, we now uh, come to our equation we have that induced EMF is minus N so for this we replace it with this so we have it as minus B A omega sine W T so this can what cancel this so that we have uh, N B A omega sine what omega t so this is the number of tons of coil this is the magnetic field strength this is the area cross-sectional area and this is what the angular frequency this is what the angular frequency so the peak emf for a rotating coil producing electrical energy as a result of changing magnetic field line is this so it's giving us E, you can use this asylum sign, subscript 0 equals uh, N B A omega. Some textbooks will write it as E0 equals N B A omega. So, the whole of this is the induced EMF. Okay, 
the whole of this is the induced EMF. The whole of this, the induced EMF. Okay, the peak EMF is this. This is the induced EMF, and this is what the peak EMF. So the induced EMF in this case is now E equals N B A omega sine what omega t as far as this expression is concerned so this is the induced emf for a rotating coil producing electrical energy as a result of changing magnetic field line and this is the peak emf which we are interested for a rotating coil producing electrical energy as a result of changing magnetic field lines so we shall be making use of this in our next video to solve a problem that we illustrate this Thank you so much for listening and don't forget to subscribe for more updates like this. Goodbye.